there. He wanted to get a good score on the board. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, over there on the far side, let's put our hands together for Rodrigo Miranda, all the way from Santiago in Chile. Great to see Rodrigo back on the surface, just catching his breath. He mm. may be winded there as we take him into the shoreline. But he was smacking the water there in frustration, just catching his breath. Okay, mm. eyes on the water now. I think we're moving on to, is it Scott the Rocket Man Ellis, second last jumper on the water. Watch that very distinctive helmet. It looks like we are just about ready to go. The Mastercraft is down on the dock. Scott the Rocket Man has his helmet ready. And as you can see on the top, you well, you'll see. when you see it you've never seen a helmet like this before here he goes scott the rocket man ellis the second last jumper on the water now scott may have been a little spooked by what we've seen out there but thankfully nobody's been hurt uh, difficult conditions uh, but you know many of the jumpers have just made adjustments you shouldn't uh, p take the jump if you're not happy going in and uh, who knows what it might take to win but it's going to take a distance of bigger than 43.7 uh, we have a tie now between uh, joel wing and Felipe Miranda and hopefully his brother Rodrigo over there is uh, fit and well yes Rodrigo is up on his knees at the back of the uh, of the rescue boat and thankfully Rodrigo looks fine but bearing in mind Des that yesterday Scott Ellis now we're down to the two top seeds Scott Ellis jumped over 48 meters in the semi-final so uh, Scott really he has it in him it's a matter of if he can uh, put it out there. He only has two approaches in which to do so. As we've seen, a pass or a crash is counted as a turn. And uh, Scott Ellis, the man with mountains of experience, the American, here he comes from the USA. The Rocket Man edges in, pushes hard on that right ski, and nearly go. He was looking shaky in the air, Des. Well, I don't think he's gone 43-5, and that was harem scarum stuff from Scott Ellis. Oh, oh. If there are nervous people around here, it might be better to look away. <laughs> this is a challenging sport. You're seeing the real thrills and spills. Well, just a little bit out of position at the base of the ramp, and then that is multiplied tenfold when the load comes onto the rope as you go up that ramp, and he just, it would pull him, it reefed him back, and somehow Scott Ellis m mustered those years.
years of experience, got the skis back underneath him and somehow skied it out. <laughs> Absolutely. He won't want to know the distance of 28-8. That uh, is not something he'll be uh, putting in his record books, but it's about who wins. And right now, right at the very top with 43.7, we have Joel Wing and Felipe Miranda. And yet they have to be beaten. We may well see the two of these gentlemen on the dock. They got those scores a little earlier on, right down to the closing moments. Now Scott Ellis will make a couple of adjustments. He doesn't have to go gangbusters flat out into this jump to take the title away. He's just got to play it smart, get something better than 43-7 if he possibly can, because the door is still open as the world record holder is on the dock. Freddy Krueger is down there in the dock now preparing. We're down to the closing moments, ladies and gentlemen, of this wonderful event here at the Ayers Water Skiing Wakeboard World Cup. This is the men's jump finals here in Mandurah, and on the water Scott the Rocket Man Ellis will shortly be coming in for his final attempt here in 2012 in uh, this wonderful contest. Well, Des, can I put something to you now? I can't imagine in my wildest dreams that Scott Ellis or Fred Kruger, Freddy Krueger aren't going to jump over 43.7, but in the event of a tie, we probably need to discuss what is going to happen. But okay, Scotty Ellis jumped 48 metres yesterday. He's chasing 43.7. He's got years of experience and tons and tons of ability. That's oh, a beauty goodness. from Scott Bang the Rocket the Man. Top. And he rides it out. And you would have to think that Scott Ellis has jumped over 43.7 just with the look of how he floated through the air. But I'll be interested to get a distance through. But do we have, folks, a new leader, Scotty the Rocket Man Ellis. We await the distance to come through. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new leader. It's 44.1. 44.1. We are going to see Scott the Rocket Man Ellis one more time on the podium. Congratulations, Scott. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's switch over. Put your focus on the dock. The legend himself is with us. The wonderful athlete of Freddy Krueger is ready to go. But Des, what a tight competition because oh. Scott Ellis has just gone into the lead and he's leading by 400 millimetres. Oh. Well, watch it's a the tight for second. Yeah, watch the dock, ladies and gentlemen, because this young man not only is the world jump champion, he's the world record holder. He has won just about every title you possibly could over the last few years. It's just always a pleasure to have Freddy Krueger with us. He was with us in Lin Yi in China. He was with us at the US Masters in the past year at the IWFF World Jump Champion, London Night Jump Champion, LA Night Jump Champion, Perth Night Jump Champion, Pan Am Jump Champion. He has won them all. Holds the world record at a staggering 75.2 metres on perfect man-made lakes. That's where the, you get a sheltered situation. Everything set up for that. This is a different event here today. We're going right downtown to where the people are, to where television is, to where as many people as possible can share in the thrills of watching the world record holder, the world champion here at Mandura. Here he comes. Here comes the Mastercraft. Here comes the world record holder. Freddy Krueger. Oh, look at this, Des. He's coming aggressive straight off the bat as he tr he starts that oh. counter cut. He's pushing very, very oh. wide, is Fred Krueger. Well, he's not leaving anything behind. Let's see this approach. Oh, this could be the winning jump. Freddy Krueger from the USA. Oh, and what a oh. lift. Oh. Oh. He pumps the fist. That's got to be over 44.1. He thinks... <laughs> Are we looking at the winning jump straight oh. to the bat by the world champion? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as Freddy the Nightmare Kruger comes past us on the far side, come on, put your hands together. Let's show our appreciation for the world record holder. Oh, what a great opening jump. And as I mentioned, Des, aggressive from the word go. He pulled out to uh, the left. He uh, angled hard across the wakes to get as wide as he possibly could. He thundered into that uh, jump ramp, and he really got that lift as only Freddy Krueger can. Well, why is he the world champion? Why is he the world record holder? Why can he cope with just about any situation, dial it into his brain, which is his computer, and do what has to be done? He has just landed an opening distance of 56 Point six meters coming back to the dock. Put your hands together. The world record holder, world champion, is now the Mandura Jump Champion 2012 in this Airs Water Ski and Wakeboard World Cup. Freddy Krueger, one more time, somehow he has pulled out all the stops and made it possible. Congratulations to Freddy Krueger with a big 56.6 to take the top spot, to 44.1 to take the second spot. 
And in third place, I believe it will be Felipe Miranda with the uh, higher seeding uh, to take the distance with uh, 43.7. Stunning, stunning performances. Wow, that was a nail biter. Uh, riders, you need to be heading directly to the podium. Riders, as quickly as you can, because we have wakeboard coming up right now. We hope you're getting into position as quickly as you can. So, riders, please make sure you are down there. But uh, walking in now along the dock here, Scott Ellis taking the silver. Silver medal. Congratulations, Scott, with 44.1. Tremendous performance, pulling out all the stops, getting those skis right in underneath.
take them and jump number one, scaring the living daylights out of us watching, uh, but calling in all his talent. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, walking back to the beach area here. Cameraman behind him, 56.6 metres. Those of you on the shoreline here, ladies and gentlemen, come on, put your hands together. He is the Mandura jump champion, Freddy Krueger 2012. Mark, over to you. Let's see what, uh, what, see what Freddy has to say. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Uh, Freddie, that was amazing, mate. What does it feel like when you're flying through the air like that? Tell us. You, you know, that's quite a rush right there because, uh, you know, as you can see, the, the, the conditions are a little challenging, and uh, with just the two jumps, there's a lot of pressure to get it right off the start. So, uh, you know, Scotty kind of went out there and had a feel, and, you know, he told me, hey, it's bumpy, but just stay over your skis, and uh, that was a very exciting jump, I can tell you that. Well, it certainly was, my man. Now, listen, when you, when you, leave, when you leave the jump and you're flying through the air, you kind of... Do you realize you've nailed it and that if you land this thing, you've won? You know, when I was at the peak of the, uh, the jump there, I knew I had a good one. But the reality is about the first 40 to 50 feet off the top of the jump, it's like a check. You know, it's real quick. Hey, am I in the right condition? Am I, am I flying? Am I trying to survive? Am I crashing? And you, you go through this whole system of, you know, where am I and, and what do I need to do from here? So those are really fun. You know, I, as soon as I knew I was okay, then you just hang on for the ride, take in a little crowd and enjoy it. Well, you're more than okay, my man. You won. Freddy Krueger, you are the man, buddy. Come here. Would you like to say good day to all your fans that might be watching down the line? Yeah, for everybody that stayed up late in America, thanks. And, uh, you know, this was a wonderful event. Uh, I was at Perth last year, first time to Mandra, and uh, absolutely love it. Beautiful part of the country. Come check it out. Enjoy some crabs. <laughs> and, and thanks to Aries. Thanks very much, Freddie. You're going to have to come back next year and defend your title, my man. I look forward to seeing you again next year. I'll be here. Yeah, good on you, everybody. Thanks. Uh, you better get over to the, uh, the main stage for the uh, presentations. Thanks back to the boys in the booth. Cheers, fellas. So, everyone, I think, the, uh, I think what's happening next is the wakeboarding for the ladies.